Hi, I'm Akash, co-founder and CEO of Jovian. Today at this graduation ceremony, we are here to celebrate the amazing work done by the participants of the October 2021 batch of our six-month data science and machine learning bootcamp. In just a few minutes, our graduates will present the projects that they worked on during the last six months. My co-founder Siddhant Ojain and I started Jovian in 2019 as a data science community after quitting our jobs in the US, returning to India and working as machine learning consultants for close to two years. After interacting with hundreds of data science enthusiasts, we realized that there was a need for industry focused learning resources. So we started offering practical data science courses on Jovian. And since then, there has been no looking back. At the moment, we offer four beginner friendly data science courses and we run a six month data science and machine learning bootcamp that helps people make a career transition to data science. Now the Jovian community has grown at a rate that is beyond our wildest imaginations. And we see this as a big word of confidence in our mission of delivering world class data science education and building the world's largest community of data science professionals. Just to give you a sense of the numbers, our videos on YouTube have been watched over 5 million times and the data science tutorials hosted on the platform in the form of the Jupyter notebooks uh, that you find during the courses have been executed over 2 million times. Our learning platform has over 225,000 registered users and we've issued over 7,500 certificates to users who have completed one of our courses. Our data science and machine learning bootcamp, which launched in March of last year, now has over 300 active participants. And while we receive thousands of applications to the program every month, we've accepted only under 5% of applicants into the program because we take the responsibility of helping learners succeed very seriously. And we feel extremely confident that everybody who is part of the program is going to become an amazing data scientist. We are currently starting new batches of the program every month with a batch size of around 50 participants. We also have over 200 hiring partners who are hiring from Jovian and over the course of the past few months, we have conducted well over 150 interviews and the participants of the Jovian data science and machine learning bootcamp have received over 50 job offers so far with many of them currently interviewing and we expect a lot of them to get placed soon as well. Industry relations is something that we are investing more efforts into every day, especially as the pool of our learners grows and we aim to have over a thousand hiring partners by the end of this year and hundreds of interviews going on every week. Now, one of the statistics that I'm most proud of is that over 150,000 messages have been sent on our private Slack community, where participants of the Jovian Data Science and ML Bootcamp inter interact with each other, ask questions, share resources, get help from the Jovian team, from the community, and also help others. It's a truly university-like environment where everyone's motivated, hardworking, driven, and committed to helping each other succeed. We run a tough and rigorous program and the participants presenting today have put in well over 600 hours of work over the past eight months or so. They have completed seven courses as part of the bootcamp. They have worked on 10 coding assignments and built three portfolio projects on large real world data sets, which they are going to present today. The graduates have literally worked nights and weekends, and many of them are doing this while working or studying full time. I can say without a doubt that they are some of the most hardworking, motivated and formidable people I know. We did not go easy on them. We kept raising the difficulty level of our assignments and our projects and they kept matching it. It's amazing to see what they've accomplished together in the last six months. So without further ado, let's begin with the presentations. First, I would like to invite Ari to present. Ari, please go ahead. Hi, my name is um, Ari Blinder. I, um, I live in Highland Park, New Jersey. 
I have a bachelor's in mathematics from Cornell University, a master's in math ed from Rutgers University. I've been a professor in mathematics at a Middlesex County College in Edison, New Jersey for about 10 years now. And I've also done many other mathematics education initiatives throughout the United States. Um, I've decided to increase my potential now um, as a data science and I've been very grateful for Jovian to help me with this through my course. The first um, project I'd like to share with you is dealing with a bike sharing program um, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The program involved over 230,000 rows of data in 14 columns. I used NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn, Plotly, among other things, to analyze the data. As you can see from the first bar chart, um, the, the uh, distribution of the rides was fairly similar throughout the week. However, I did see something interesting when looking at different days, as the two uh, histograms show. Um, on one of them, a Tuesday, you can see there's a spike around 8 a.m. that I took as meaning that many commuters actually use the bikes um, for that reason, and that's not found on Sunday. Um, then there's the Plotly um, bar, Plotly, um, Plotly bar gram that's a uh, uh, plot, bar plot that's uh, logarithmic um, scaled, and that shows that um, many um, of the rides are actually less than two minutes. And I inferred from looking further into researching the program that many of those rides are actually under two minutes. And it has to deal with a phenomenon where um, riders actually dock and undock their bikes in a very short period of time to avoid uh, late fees. Uh, finally, as I showed in the folium graph and plot, the, uh, the bikes are mainly used mostly around the city center. And I found that the most popular bike plan is shown in the um, pie chart is the monthly plan. Um, the uh, next slide shows um, my machine learning project involving over 1.5 million, 1.45 million rows of data in 10 columns. I use from a Kaggle competition involving um, many different distributions of the taxi cab ride um, of New York City. And I used uh, decision trees, random forests, and various other um, methods to get a root mean squared logarithmic error of around 0.46 after hyperparameter tuning. Um, I continue to improve the project, but I already have scored in the top 60% of the Kaggle leaderboard. Uh, let me just move on to the next slide. In this slide, I show how I use the, um, the, the Tableau um, user-provided bookshop data set um, and uh, used it with expanding an Excel file with uh, extra sheets showing um, average um, ratings and number of uh, checkouts per month. I did the, all the uh, visualizations you see there. Some of them were interactive. And uh, I found that um, science fiction and fantasy had among the highest number of pages and print runs and ratings. And so uh, again, I want to thank you all for having me. And uh, my name is Ari Blinder. You can reach me on the Jovian profile at jovian.ai. Thanks, Ari, and thanks for all the interesting questions that you asked us and for your contributions to the community. Next up, I would like to invite Nandini to present. Nandini, please go ahead. Hello, everyone. My name is Nandini Saini. I'm from Jodhpur, Rajasthan, India. Currently, I'm pursuing PhD in computer science from IIT Jodhpur. I'm also working as a teaching assistant at IIT Jodhpur. My educational background is integrated BTEC and MTech in information technology from IIIT Gwalior. I have also been qualified for UGC NET in computer science with JRF and GATE examination. Till now, I have published one research paper in the IHCI conference and two papers are under review procedure. 
over the last eight months, I have spent 600 plus hours with Jovian to improve my fundamentals of uh, data science and machine learning. During this period of time, along with my research work, I have done three major projects. My first project is uh, machine learning, which is forecasting monthly future sales of a retail store. The data set used in the project is Russian retail store sales, a time series data that is downloaded from Kaggle. The aim of the project is to predict total sales for every product and store in the next month. This is a regression problem which contains 2 million plus rows and 18 columns. I used linear regression, decision tree, random forest, and XGPost of scikit-learn and XGP libraries. With hyperparameter tuning of XGPost model, I achieved best score of RMSE 0.90. The second project I have worked on is exploratory data analysis on Bangalore restaurants data. The dataset contains 50,000 plus rows and 50 plus columns. I have performed pre-processing on data using NumPy and Pandas, such as handling missing values, dropping irrelevant columns, encoding categorical data, etc. Along with this, I have designed questions such as how many restaurants have online delivery service, what are the most famous restaurant is rating affected by delivery services and many more. These questions are analyzed and answered by graph visualization, which are plotted by using matplotlib, seaborne, folium, etc. From this visualization, I have found that only 15% of restaurants are allowing for booking tables, but 67% restaurants provide online delivery services. Word cloud graph of data said that North Indian food is served by most of the restaurants. My third but not last project is based on web scrapping. The project objective is to retrieve information of research papers from Google Scholar by giving area. The Google Scholar provides million plus research papers, but if we want to get information about papers with specific areas, then this project helps. I scrapped the information using request and beautiful soup libraries. I have pass the information such as the title of the paper, authors, number of citation, etc. I have created a final CSV file using pandas which containing 100 plus rows and 6 columns of the data. For more information, please visit my Jovian profile. Thank you everyone. Thank you Nandini and um... It has also been incredible to discuss the work that you're doing on your thesis and how you're applying deep learning there and all the best. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Prashanti to present. Prashanti, please go ahead. Hello everyone. This is Prashanti. I have done masters in power and energy systems from NITK and also worked as an assistant lecturer in the same college. I received PPSA 2016 prestigious identification towards my project and published four papers, received two best paper awards. I have completed 600 plus hours coursework in machine learning and data science at Jovian. The projects I have done in this bootcamp are machine learning, exploratory data analysis, and web, web scraping. First, I would like to talk about my machine learning project. Work done Ashray Great Energy predicted three data set, which had 20 plus million training rows and 41 plus million test rows. The problem statement here is predicting the energy consumption of a building. Trained linear regression, decision trees, random forest, XGBoost, and LGBM models. The hyperparameters were tuned on. XGBoost and LGBM models. Got the best results after training LGBM model by, meet, by meter type. 
with the mentioned hyperparameters and with k fold 3 achieved 1.518 kilowatt hour rmsle on test data my second project is exploratory data analysis i have downloaded india's weather data set from kaggle explored and analyzed 5.63 million rows of india's weather data containing 20 columns using numpy and pandas created many visualizations like line plot bar plot heat map and choropleth maps using matplotlib seaborn plotly and folium from this analysis i could see the most efficient and preferable cities and states in india for wind power as well as solar power installations and also observed that the solar power generation is more in summer and winter compared to monsoon season because the cloud is clear during those seasons while wind power is more in monsoon season because wind speed is more in monsoon and my third project is web scraping project the wikipedia website where it has provided the electricity details of different countries and indian states was considered the ht the web pages were downloaded using request library and the html source code was passed using beautiful soup library from python and, and extracted the annual electricity production of different countries and the electricity production from different resources in indian states generated two csv files using pandas to go through my project in detail please go through my jovian profile i would like to thank all the jovian team for helping me throughout this journey thank you all thank you prashanti and uh, i really enjoyed our discussions of uh, finding the right project topics where you could combine your knowledge of uh, energy and mechanical engineering with data science and machine learning so i really appreciate you taking the effort to do that thank you thank you Okay, next up, I would like to invite Aditya to present. Hello, everyone. My name is Aditya Hebba, currently in the final year of BTEC CSC at Reva University, Bangalore. I have gained expertise through this bootcamp by Jovian in the topics of data science, machine learning, and deep learning. I have done my internship as a full stack developer at OSG Analytics, an analytics company. I have completed 600 plus hours of practical coursework in data science and machine learning over the past six months. My first project is the exploratory data analysis. I used the global cargo data set, which had over 100,000 rows and eight columns. I have cleaned the data set and visualized choropleth map, bar graph, pie chart, etc. using pandas, matplotlib, and seaborn, etc. It is observed that India's trading volume increased from 1.01% to 1.56% between the period of 2000 to 2015, but China's trading volume almost doubling from 3.65% to 7.9% during the same time period. This was one of the inference. And in the second project, that is demand prediction based on the ad created, a prediction problem, I downloaded Kaggle dataset, which had over 1 million plus rows and 16 columns. I cleaned and analyzed the data using pandas, worked with ML models and techniques such as regression, XGBoost using scikit-learn. I have used RMSC metric to evaluate the score and got a Kaggle score of 0.24. And for the third project, I did web scraping of CoinGecko website, which had details of almost all the cryptocurrencies in the current market. I have passed information such as name, price, volume, etc. from the table use TR and tags in the HTML content. With the help of Pandas library, I was able to create a CSV file with 200 rows and five columns, which sums up to thousand data chunks about crypto coin. And finally, thank you. Thank you everyone at Jovian also. Please don't forget to visit my profile at Jovian. Thank you. Thank you, Aditya. And one thing I really admire is that you're doing all this while you are still in your final semester of college. 
so we wish you all the best thank you and thank you yeah okay next we i would like to invite rahul to speak rahul please go ahead uh hello everyone i am uh, rahul pandey currently based in gaziantep india uh, i have completed bachelor's in computer science and engineering from nedist and have uh, studied masters in computer science and engineering from jerem university I have worked as an assistant professor in SRM IST Delhi NCR. I have also published a conference paper titled "Nuclear Cell Semantic Segmentation Using Units," which was an application-based project. Uh, for the past few months, I have spent around 500 plus hours on coursework and coding assignments and three projects uh, in the Jovian Bootcamp. Uh, worked on Craigslist dataset. So for the first project that I have worked on the Jovian Bootcamp is a Craigslist dataset. Which, with details of second hand cars listed with location year price and other vehicle features i analyzed 426000 plus rows of data in 26 columns using numpy pandas seagon and puppy so some of the uh, some of the insights about the data are we can see this second graph here distribution of price with respect to condition of uh, vehicles from 2015 uh, and for the second graph we have This graph shows uh, states with the highest number of vehicles listed, uh, and California has the highest number with over fifty thousand. Uh, and the third graph here, this graph, is, this graph shows pricey vehicles and uh, the coastal regions in the light blue uh, color. The the coastal regions, these are having uh, slightly more expensive cars. And the fourth graph, this graph shows top manufacturers. For a state like, for example, we have a New York here, and for New York, Ford is the largest brand for vehicles in New York. And for the for the last graph here, we have uh, this graph shows percentage-wise fuel type vehicles, and clearly this region, 84 uh, percent, which shows it clearly it has a fuel uh, based uh, fuel uh, gas based fuel is mostly used. For the second project, it is a web scraping project. Uh, the idea behind was to scrape the yiffy movie website and extract information like title year rating gender etc around 30 web pages from the with the yiffy website were downloaded and passed using beautiful soup the extracted data were stored into a .csv file containing 400 plus rows and seven columns using pandas for the third project which is a machine learning project and it was based on expedia hotel type recommendation which is still an ongoing project the objective is to predict hotel id clusters a customer will book uh, this data set is downloaded from kaggle with 37 million plus rows and 24 columns of data some processing feature engineering and then models were created and evaluated using numpy pandas and sklearn as of now two models logistic and decision trees are evaluated where Logistic regression is performing better with a test score of 0.048 against uh, decision tree with 0.023. The aim is to build more models, hyper tune them, and then get a score to be in the top 30% of the Kaggle leaderboard. Uh, you can get to know more about me and my project at jovin.ai. Om Rahul Pandey. Thank you. Thank you, Rahul. And. it's incredible to see that while you are already a teacher you're still trying to upskill and learn more and become better next i would like to invite ramakrishna to present my name is ramakrishna i have done my graduation from reva university in bengaluru at present i am working as an intern at rakuten recently I completed my data science bootcamp in jovian in that bootcamp i have completed three projects one of the project is exploratory data analysis of fifa players and this data set contains about 18000 rows and 80 columns and each row represents different players and their details i used uh, different tools like pandas and numpy to fill the missing data and i i created different graphs and i able to observe some patterns like there was a linear relationship between the players rankings and their salary and my next project was a machine learning project which is santander customer transaction prediction this data set which i used it consists about 200 crores and uh, 200 columns first i did, did data cleaning and i added some new columns later i built different models like uh, 
logistic regression model and light GPM model and I tuned the parameters later uh, I got about uh, nearly 90% accuracy which helped me to score about top 30% scoreboard in the Kaggle leaderboard and after this I built a another project which is web scrapping project I scrapped the IMDB website where I scrapped about movie details using the request and beautiful soup library where I have been scrapped movie details like titles, ratings and movie release year and genre etc. I stored these things in a CSV file using pandas which consists about 200,000 uh, rows and uh, 7 columns. Thank you for listening about my projects and myself and if you want to know more about my projects you can visit my Jovian profile and if you want to contact me you can use my LinkedIn profile. Thank you. I think one of the things that I appreciated most was that you came in without much knowledge of coding and not only were you able to pick up coding and apply to build these great projects but you're also able to secure an internship and you're working successfully so uh, congrats on that. Next I would like to invite Ruvini to present. Everybody. My name is Ruini Shashikala. I am a graduate of Te Gujarat Technological University with a major in computer engineering. Also, I work with a diverse group of foreign students for diverse in completing their documents. I worked as a software engineering intern at LCN Agro, designing and developing the NFT marketplace. In the Jovian Data Science Bootcamp, I completed three main projects data analysis, machine learning, and web scraping. My first project was exploratory data analysis on the air quality data set of India. Of the 30 most polluted cities in the world, 21 were in India in 2019. The data set includes data from the year 2015 to 2020. So, the data set has 7 million rows and 16 columns. Each row represents the values of air pollutants detected in a city on a particular day. Columns include city, date, and the names of air pollutants like PM2.5, PM10, NO, NO2, NOx, NH3, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, ozone, benzene, and toluene. The libraries used in the projects are NumPy and Pandas for data cleaning and analysis, Matplotlib and Plotlib for data visualization. It created a number of graphs and analyzed the four most crucial air pollutants separately named carbon monoxide, ozone, NOx, and benzene. I was able to recognize that there is more air pollution from January to May there was more air pollution in the middle of the week than on weekends. On a day around 12 p.m., maximum carbon monoxide has released. Diwali season has more air pollution. My next project is about to give me some credit Kaggle dataset. The goal is to build a model that borrowers can use to help make the best financial decisions. It includes more than 150k rows and 16 columns. I did some uh, feature engineering and data cleaning. I built several classification models, uh, logistic regression, random forest, and XGBoost of scikit-learn and XGBoost libraries. My aim is to achieve 90% of accuracy and to reach the top 30% of the Kaggle data board, leaderboard. My next project is a web scrapping. I scrapped the site Books to Scrap, which includes 50 pages and information on 1,000 books categorized into 50 categories. I scrapped 25 out of 50 pages from this website and extracted data about each book using Python, Request, Beautiful Soup, and Pandas. I was able to create a final CSV of popular books in different genres. Thank you for listening to me and my projects. If you want to know more about me and my projects, you can visit my Jovian profile, also my LinkedIn profile using the username 
RU97 and you can have a look at my project on my GitHub. Thank you. Thank you, Rovini. Uh, I know you've had a lot going on with college and work and uh, you still managed to work through the bootcamp and build great projects. So congratulations on that. Next, I want to invite Pankaj to present. Hi, my name is Pankaj Thakur. I'm based out of Nagpur. I studied Bachelor of Science in Computer Science from Nagpur University. Currently, I work as Claim Associate in Legato Health Technology in Hyderabad. Here are some of the projects that I have worked on over the past few months. This is the first project, Exploratory Data Analysis on 7 plus million company dataset. This dataset is available on Kaggle. Here are some of the insights. First, I have cleaned 7 plus million rows and uh, 11 columns and analyzed using Pandas, Matplotlib and Plotly. Here, this chart shows the distribution of the year column. We can see the most of the companies are founded in the year 1946 to 2006. Here in this chart, we can see the different types of industries established in a country. Here we can see the industries, different types of industries for country, India. We, similarly, we can check for other countries too. Here in this chart, we can see the demographic division. Here we can see the USA is in dark, dark color showing the most companies. Here we can see the top 15 countries in top 50 countries having the most companies here we can see the united states is having the most of the companies around the world followed by uk then india here we can see the top 10 industries this is the tableau dashboard project in this tableau dashboard i have analyzed the uh, bookshop data sets and created different charts here in this chart we can see the top rated author here in this chart we can see the checkouts of books in different months of a year in this chart we can see the number of books sold in different uh, genres and the average rating of different genre of books this is uh, my third project this is walmart sales prediction this is my ongoing project here in this machine learning project i'm trying to predict store sales for walmart and this data sets consist of 420 k rows and 16 columns of data the objective is to use inputs like store department temperature fuel price columns to predict sales i made some predictions on the test set and made a submission to kaggle i will use uh, the different ml algorithms like uh, regression um, random forest to get a better rmsc thank you thank you pankaj i still remember the conversations and discussions that we had every week starting from the very basics of python and then moving on into data analysis then machine learning so it's incredible to see how far we've come in the last six months next we have a presentation from tejasvi hello my name is tejasvi after completing my formal education i have held equipment and process engineering roles for over eight years in the semiconductor industry at Global Foundries and Samsung. During my work experience, I realized the power of strong data analytics and visualization skills. I also explored machine learning to help make accurate predictions and generate preemptive actions to various problems. The first project I would like to talk about is a machine learning project with a Kaggle dataset. The goal was to predict with the lowest multi-class log loss, the distractive state for commercial airline pilots to help reduce commercial aviation fatalities. The training dataset had 4 million rows and 28 columns, and the test dataset was over four times bigger. I created and tuned several models, but got the best results using an XGB classifier with the hyperparameters specified and with the targets being balanced by applying s mode. I achieved a test log loss of 0.695 and made it to the top 25% of the Kaggle leaderboard. The next project is exploratory data analysis on crimes in Austin. Dataset obtained from the city of Austin website contained over 2 million rows and over 20 columns. EDA was done based on crime categories, time of occurrence, and location. Crime data analysis until 2021 showed a spike in homicides, aggravated assaults, and auto thefts, especially a huge increase between the years 2020 to 2021. Zip codes close to downtown had 
higher overall crimes reported, possibly because of higher population centers in those areas. The third project I want to mention is scraping stock prices on Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance website has market information on mutual funds, ETFs, cryptocurrencies, and so on. Beautiful soup package of Python was used to parse HTML code into individual pieces of information for each ticker. Functions were written to pull information from HTML tags and organize them along with their headers into CSV files for each market type. Over 200 stock tickers were scraped across five different markets. I'm very excited to pursue more projects and would love to discuss and collaborate. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Next, we have a presentation from Darshan. Hello, everyone. My name is Darshan Desai and I live in England, UK. I'm working as a SEP BI specialist for Hayfully. I graduated with a Bachelor of Commerce from MSc University of Baroda and recently joined the Data Science Bootcamp offered by Jovian, where I spent 600 plus hours holding my Python skills and learned how to apply them to work with data for analysis and machine learning modeling. I'll walk you through three of the projects that I built during the Jovian Data Science Bootcamp. My first project is machine learning. My objective was to forecast the trip duration for the NYC taxi. The data set has 1.4 million plus rows and row 11 columns of trip duration data. I split the data into training and the validation sets in the ratio 80-20. I trained linear regression, decision trees, random forest, gradient boostings, and light GPM models on the training data set using scikit-learn and light GPM libraries. I was able to achieve the best RMIC of 16.22 on the test data set using light GPM after hyperparameter tuning. The second project is exploratory data analysis on US used cars. The data set contained 3 million plus rows and 19 columns. I cleaned and pre-processed the data using Pandas and visualized using Seaborn and Matplotlib. Using Pandas, I was able to compare the used car market by separating premium luxury performance, first year luxury, second year luxury, premium, mainstream and budget brands. I was able to analyze location, CT, and region impact on the pricing by different brands, body types, wheel systems, and different transmission types. I learned from the analysis that the US East Coast is the most active for used cars markets listings and the seasonality does not really impact the price of the car. On average, the car stays in the market for 77 days and most common car listing is of uh, SUV crossover body type. The third project was web scrapping. I scrapped the details of the most active stocks in the UK. I used the request libraries to pass the web page Beautiful Soup for extracting the details. Details include stock symbol, company name, stock price, price change, percentage change, company's market cap, and URL. I was able to convert unstructured data into structured data and export it to a comma separated value file format of 100 plus rows and 7 columns. Thank you for watching and if you like to check out these projects as well as the others I've been working on in more detail, please visit my Joven hiring profile. Thank you. So overall, I feel that those projects were truly impressive. Every batch keeps raising the bar for the next batch. Just a lot of people came into the bootcamp not knowing how to code, not being familiar with Python, its ecosystem of libraries. And now they're in a position where they can comfortably work with millions of rows of data, extract insights, create machine learning models, beat the state of the art. So I just want to take a moment to congratulate all of you, not just for the great work that you've done, but also for a couple of other reasons. First is because you have decided to pursue data science and as a career and as a passion. And that's obviously a great choice because it's one of the most exciting and fastest growing domains today. It's where the most cutting edge work is happening. It's where we are pushing the envelope forward. And that's why we love data science so much as well. I also want to congratulate you for taking the initiative to learn something completely new, which is very hard to do, especially once you've spent a few years working at a job. But I feel the model of graduating from university in your 20s and then applying the same skills for the rest of your career is coming to an end. And to have a long and fulfilling career, you have to keep upskilling, which is exactly what you've done. 
And finally, I want to congratulate you on becoming part of and contributing to an amazing community of learners, the Jovian data science community. And I hope that the bonds you've built here with your co-learners will last forever and hope you'll continue to help and support each other for the rest of your careers. Next, I would like you to meet some members of the Jovian team who have been working closely day and night with the bootcamp participants and supporting them at every step of the way. So first, I would like to invite Samanvita, who is a data science instructor at Jovian, to share her thoughts. Congratulations, everyone. Good job on the presentations. Uh, and second of all, congratulations on graduating the bootcamp too. I know, uh, as Akash mentioned, you guys have started off with no knowledge or a little knowledge and also with a sort of fear that whether you'll be able to make things work but given the time all the commitments that you had you still made time and you still graduated uh, it just inspires me a lot because you know you it's just uh, totally different right you have full time studies going on or you're doing an internship you have a full time job and then you come back you could simply choose to take a rest or you know to take a day off but no you just came back and started working on the content again and again i think my biggest takeaway from this batch was i, I we have one on one calls to discuss uh, any queries and i remember uh, towards the end specifically during the machine learning i would end up saying you know i have to look it up myself and get back to you guys on that because uh, you guys sort of pushed me my own boundaries in learning new things in the same field i personally wouldn't have had the time to like go and do the same stuff if it weren't for your queries so thank you so much for that i i learned uh, new stuff in the same like in the same place that i'm working at so thank you so much for that and i can see a huge potential in you guys i know you guys are actively interviewing and it's just a matter of time before you just crack and go out with flying colors and i'm definitely looking forward to those news uh, all the very best, guys. Uh, we'll definitely keep in touch. <laughs> Over to you, Akash. Thank you, Samanvita. And thank you for working tirelessly and supporting everybody in the batch and making sure that everybody was ready for today. Next, I would like to invite Biraj, who is an assistant data science instructor at Jovian. Yeah, thanks, Akash, for the introduction. Uh, so. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate everyone on graduating from this boot camp, and uh, and all congratulations on like and all very good presentations. Uh, so good work on that, and uh, it has been a long journey with lots of calls and conversations with this batch, and I hope I was able to help you all on this journey to data science. But and this is just the beginning of a, a vast field, and there is so much yet to explore in this field. And uh, watching all of you uh, learn the skills so quickly and efficiently uh, with uh, with all the uh, works and uh, studies going on, uh, that was remarkable. And that gave me high hopes for all of you. And I'm quite sure that uh, you all will be achieving great heights uh, pretty, uh, like pretty soon. And in fact, in a few years, uh, I might be contacting some of you for help on some projects in this field. Yeah, I, I can see that's happening. Uh, but yeah, uh, I made great uh, contacts with everyone and uh, I got very good questions from everyone. And and I, I learned a lot in this process. And yeah, I, I think I would uh, never have learned uh, so much while uh, like uh, doing all these things alone. So thanks for helping me out. And uh, thanks for asking all those great questions and uh, thanks for always being supportive in, in spite of like uh, giving hard remarks or in many of your uh, assignments and projects i agree uh, so yeah uh, all the best again and uh, congratulations uh, on graduation thanks biraj uh, one of the things that i hear from almost everyone who's gone through the bootcamp is the amount of support that they receive from you guys and i at Jovian, we've set very high standards for ourselves. We make we try to make sure that every question, every query that comes our way is answered to the best of our ability within a sh shortest possible time. And we set very high standards for the evaluation that we do. We do detailed 
uh, reviews, detailed feed, we give detailed feedback and we don't pass you guys until you've completed, until you've built the best possible version of your project. So congrats on uh, clearing those bars and uh, we hope to keep it that way with the help of Biraj and Samanvita. Overall, we're constantly making improvements and we want to ensure the best uh, outcomes of all the learners. That's really what our goal is. And the association with uh, Jovian does not end with this graduation day. This is the end of this ceremony. But before we go, I want to thank all our graduates once again for placing their trust in us. And I wish you all the best as you take the challenge of building your career in data science. Helping you succeed is a responsibility that we take very seriously and your association with us does not end with your graduation. The Jovian team and the Jovian community will always be with you at every step of the way. And I don't just mean that figuratively, you will continue to have access to the Slack community where many more batches of the bootcamp will join and where all the alumni will be present. You will continue to have access to all the material that we've created and all the material that we're going to create in the future as well. And you will continue to have access to the entire pool of um, industry partners um, that we have and all the activities that we do, because this is an association that we want to continue for the rest of your and our careers as well. So with that, I would like to wish everyone who's joined us a good day or good night. We are going to get back to work because we have a lot of promises to keep and miles to go before we sleep. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.